when you take a limit as x approaches c, x might be bigger than c or less than c. Sometimes, though, only one of those is appropriate. So when you have a regular limit, if here c and you're taking the limit as x approaches c, we can approach c from here or from here. What if we give a word problem? What if we're looking at a of r? equals pi r squared. And here, r is the radius of a circle, and a of r is the area. We could ask what the limit as r approaches zero of this function is, but the radius has to be a positive. So compared to here, where you can approach c from either direction, It really only makes sense to have the radius approach zero from the right. Over here, where the radius is negative, that doesn't have any real world meaning. So in a situation like this, where you want to approach C from a single direction, from the right or from the left, you have one-sided limits. If you want to take a limit as X approaches C, of a function, but you want x to be greater than c. Like in the example we just looked at, the radius approached zero, but the radius had to be greater than zero. Then we put an addition sign there. And this is a right hand limit. Or maybe. You want X to approach C but X has to be less than C. This is a left hand limit. And we don't actually have a huge amount to say about one-sided limits. And the reason for that is as follows. Everything we just did in section 2.2 .2 for regular limits also works for one-sided limits. So if we want the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of x 
x squared plus x minus one. Well, if we didn't have this negative sign, we'd say we're taking the limit of a polynomial. We'll just take that three and plug it in for x. And having the negative sign doesn't actually change anything. We find this one-sided limit exactly the same way we would for a two-sided limit. So we don't need to memorize a bunch of new rules or anything like that. In fact, all we really have to do is state a theorem. The regular limit, which we now sometimes call the two-sided limit, as x approaches c, exists if and only if, first, both one-sided limits exist, and second, the one-sided limits are equal. And I know I said stating this theorem would be the last thing we did, but maybe a quick example with this. We'll define a piecewise defined function, and we'll ask if this limit exists. And we'll use this theorem. We'll start by looking at the limit as x approaches zero from the left. If x is approaching zero from the left, then x is negative. And f, we're in this piece. f of x is just x squared. The limit as x approaches zero of x squared. This is a polynomial. We can find this limit just by sticking zero in for x. And now let's look at the right-hand limit. Now x is greater than zero. And if x is greater than zero, we're in that second piece. X is a polynomial. To find this limit, we just plug zero in. So these one-sided limits both exist and are equal. So this regular limit exists. And I didn't explicitly state this uh, up here when I stated the theorem. But if the two sided limit exists, it's has the same value as these one-sided limits. So the two-sided limit is zero.